Hi guys, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. I'm so glad to see you again with my new tutorial, part two, uh, which is related to uh, topics, cube configuration with SIP connection. Uh, as you see here, we talk about in the last, uh, the last video, part one, we talked about the design and we said that the design is very important to any network engineer to understand the to understand the design or to understand the network before start the configure his network. So we finish with that one. Uh, we will go in this uh, part of this video, we'll speak about basic configuration and translation rules. Uh, as you see here, we finish the first part. So the design here is already finished, it's still basic configuration and translation rule for this part of this video. So let's see the basic configuration. I will just uh, take you uh, to my configure file and I will start to explain to you just command by command what this what does it mean. So let's go here. As you see here, this is my configuration inside my cube or my Cisco Unified uh, Border Elements router, which is Voice Gateway Router. Uh, if you remember that time from the last video, we talk about there is, okay, this is my Voice Gateway and this is the SIP provider, the ISP, and this ISP will provide me the PSTN or which include with SIP service. Okay, so from this voice gateway, I have two connections to the, co to the two core switches. So I have core switch number one, and I have here core switch number two. Okay. Yes, I will not talk about the call manager, just let's focus first with voice gateway configuration. As you see here, I have two links. I did these two links for redundancy issue. For example, if the call switch number one is failover or just down, the call switch number two will take over and will, the voice gateway will keep working smoothly. So what I'm going to do here for this two link inside the voice gateway. First, if you see here, I have two interfaces, two physical interfaces. So I have two physical ports, okay? But I have one logical port. I think it's easy for everyone who has CCNA, he can know this. So two physical ports, I will collect them with one logical port. This logical port, I will call it port channel. So I will create interface port channel. I will give this interface port channel any IP address, this 192.168.1.1. Um, so this one, I create this port channel here. So this is port channel. Port channel number one, and I give it this IP address. Now, I want to see the physical IP address. The physical IP address is, oops, sorry, yes. The physical IP address is gig 00 and gig 01. So this one is 00, let's make it a bit. This one, for example, 01 and this is zero, 00. So inside every physical interface, I will just match it with my port channel. So as you see here, this gig 00, zero is connected to core number one. So sorry, this one zero, 00, and this is zero, 01, just as per our configuration. Zero, 00 will connect with core one. So this one will connect to core one, and I will map it with channel group number one, which is port channel number one. And let's go a little bit down to see the other interface. This is the 
this is the gig 01 it's connected to core number two okay so the, the core switch number two and i map it also match it with channel group or port channel sorry port channel number one so these two physical interfaces now is related with one port channel and the other or the rest of configuration you have to do it inside two core switches but i will not go to explain what is inside core switches later maybe with i will just make tutorial the configuration of core switch how to do it and then we'll explain about this one we will not waste our time we'll just focus on the voice gateway configuration so this is the physical configuration until now it's still one interface yes so we configured this and configured this one still that one so this one is directly or this one is coming from the isp so what is this one in our configuration it's here it's gig 02 as you see here this is gig 02 okay this gig 02 it's actually it's the sip connection this is sip connection i will give it this ip address 10.10.10.10 .10 .10. if you remember the first video we we said that the the service provider they have to give you this the customer ip address and they have to give you also their ip address for next hop and they have to give you the server ip address so this ip address is actually the customer ip address it will come from the service provider okay so until now i think it's too much clear and let's go to last step from the basic configuration this one we have to create the static route so this my static route if you remember this one twice always changing like this sorry okay this one this ib 20.20.20.20 .20 it's the same server ib address so also this the ib address coming from the service provider which is related to sib server so i want to send this sip server to the next hop just to make clear here clean it okay so this ib address need to send it to the next hub to the sorry to here to 10.10.10.20 which is service provider ib address so i think it's too much clear so this is all about that basic configuration it's very easy very straightforward there is no complicated configuration here i think it's everyone who can do this and understand it easily <clears throat> okay so we finish with basic configuration okay now we will go to like i think everyone is just like teasing and he wants to reach to this point he wants to reach to the translation rules okay let's go now to translation rules 